Good morning. How you doing today? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. And um, I'm away for the weekend, and I actually forgot my laptop, so um, I uh, have a hard time commenting uh, to people on my, on my little cell phone here. So uh, I thought it'd be good to do a QA and a because I've got a really good uh, question. Um, I'll just read it to you and then uh, answer it. Um, it says, Hi Lisa, you seem to eat fairly small portions of things compared with other raw foodists who seem to eat huge amounts of food, especially those on high fruits. You also look like you work out and are pretty active. Do you know what the difference is? I'm curious about what amounts to eat. It's quite different from mainstream diets and amounts. Thanks. And I thought that was a really, really good question because, you know what, um, I'm demonstrating some of the stuff that I'm eating and um, it does kind of look like a small amount. And I'm a female, definitely for a male or someone very active, that would not be enough food. It's actually not enough food um, for me either. Um, you have to do what is uh, best for you, your situation. Uh, my situation, I'm a mother of three, small children, uh, all the girls are under three years old. And uh, as you can imagine, um, I stay pretty busy uh, basically taking care of them. And what I've noticed is that um, a lot of raw foodists who, um, you know, they sit down, they make a big salad, maybe, you know, four or five times bigger than what I made, for instance, last night, and they take an hour, hour and a half to eat that salad. In all honesty, I wish I had an hour to an hour and a half to sit down with Jen, peace and quiet, and sit there and eat my salad, um, you know, and t until it's gone. That would be great. Um, and then I probably wouldn't need anything else for the night. But um, my situation um, is a little different. I don't have that time. So I tend to make um, slightly smaller portions, something that's going to satisfy me for um, a little bit. And, um, and then I tend to kind of snack throughout the day. And, um, and that works for me. So for instance, last night I made a little salad before we went out. And then um, when we arrived here, like about an hour and a half later, um, we chowed down on a bunch of sliced tomatoes. McKinsey wanted some tomatoes. And then even before I went to bed, uh, Jen and I finished off some of that watermelon strawberry salad. And then I wanted something sweet, so I was dipping some pecans and some raw honey. So there you go. I mean, um, basically, you don't want to be hungry. Um, you shouldn't be hungry. You should eat. Um, you shouldn't worry about calories. Um, just eat until you are satisfied. And if you get hungry, eat some more. But just eat the right foods. That's all. Um, if you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're not going to get fat eating all day long. Um, if you can afford to just, you know, if you have the time to sit there and eat a really, really large meal, you know, 15 bananas or 10 mangoes or, you know, two pounds of greens or something like that in one sitting, go ahead if that works for you. Um, but if you don't, don't stress it. You just feel, eat what's comfortable for you um, right now and what your situation is. Whatever your, whatever your routine was um, before, you don't have to change that routine just because you switched to eating fruits and vegetables. Just, um, eat fruits and vegetables instead of what you were eating and just eat it throughout the day if that was how you were doing it before. And um, let's see, I wrote some notes. Um, and it's really good too, I find, so that you don't, um, you know, if you're not eating enough calories, obviously you're going to feel hungry. And I find that it's very helpful to always have um, some snacks on hand, readily available, things you don't have to worry about you know, running to the store, or spending time to cut up and prepare, things like, you know, making some of those raw granola bars, and they, you can make a big batch of them, keep them in your refrigerator, keep them in your freezer, and those are perfect to take with you on the go. Dried fruit, nuts, dates are a lifesaver. Uh, dried fruits, um, you want to limit your amount of uh, nuts because they um, have a decent amount of fat. And uh, some people don't worry about that, but on like 80, 10, 10, you really should only be getting 10% um, um, from fat uh, sources. And um, so those kind of foods are very high calories, very dense calories. Bananas are easy to just pick up and eat, an apple, um, things like that. Those are really good um, kind of fillers. Um, 
you know, throughout the day if you're kind of just feeling like munching on something, celery with almond butter, things like that. Um, so, anyways, I hope that answered your question. Um, I wish I was a little more active than I, I'm not really as active as I used to be. Um, now that I have the kids and stuff, I try to go to the gym a couple times a week. And um, I'm not really much of a runner. I try to take some walks. Occasionally I try to jog like a mile. Um, I want to be able to just maintain that without being out of breath. And uh, try to do a little yoga here and there. I mean, I'm, I'm active. I believe you should exercise every single day, get moving. And I get, some ec I get plenty of exercise from the girls. But I'm not, um, I don't play on a sports team. I don't, um, you know, run five, six miles a day. Um, I used to be that active, but um, but not anymore. So obviously, taking consideration, I don't go crazy with uh, worrying about the calories and how many calories I should be eating. I mean, feel free, you know, when you first start, you know, find out how many calories I guess you should be in t taking in. And there's, um, you know, chronometer I think it's called that you can monitor your calorie intake. But in all honesty, uh, I don't like to go crazy with that kind of stuff. Uh, um, I guess it's okay to do it in the beginning, but I just, I don't need one more thing to, to worry about. I just eat until I'm satisfied and, uh, and I feel good. If I start to feel tired or low energy or my belly's rumbling, obviously I did not eat enough. So that tells me, eat some more. Um, that's all. So uh, I, even though my portions might look a little small, it's really all I can eat. Um, at the moment and uh, really what the girls will allow me to eat time wise otherwise I'm just you know running around like a cuckoo head but um, anyways that's that's my situation and of course uh, everybody's situation will be different so don't worry so much about what other people are doing just go with your heart and um, and your body um, you know it best and um, use everybody as resources and inspiration and motivation and ideas and all that kind of stuff. And, um, but in the end, just do what, um, what works for you because that's what counts. That's what's going to make you successful is, um, you know, if you can't down 15 bananas, don't stress it. Just eat two or three and then uh, eat something else two hours later if you're hungry. Um, so... That's it. That's all I got. But um, I, th I thought that was a really, really great question. I hope I, um, I, hope I answered it and I wanted to share it in a, a Q&A because uh, I think this way more, more people uh, probably are thinking the same thing. And, um, and this way uh, I think it will get out to, uh, to more people. So have a great day. Eat happy foods. I'm sitting here uh, in the grass. <laughs> Just got up. I'm getting ready to have some breakfast. And... Um, Relax. Uh, it's very important to, to relax. Get outside and just get fresh air and get away from things. And um, it's, it's a nice little getaway. To, the girls like to go in the pool. And um, so we're trying to do this a little bit on the weekends uh, during the summertime. And I'll be making some more stuff today. So stay tuned for that. And um, I will talk to you real soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. And um, I will talk to you later. Take care.